the narcissist panic mode. They end up in a situation where everything seems out of control. They go around in circles, doing the same thing again and again, expecting a different result. Doing the same things without achieving anything. Any conversations you have with them while they are in panic mode will just go round in circles. You will be wasting your time and energy trying to get through to them. Because while they're in panic mode, they're not even listening to what you're saying. All they're really focused on is their own emotions. You can try to stay calm, but that will only make them panic even more. They want you to take on their emotions. Only then can they relax. Only then can they stay comfortable. And that is why they will try to project their emotions onto you. They will try to shift the blame onto you. And act like whatever went wrong is a fault or mistake that you have made. When the narcissist enters panic mode, there is no telling what they might do. They will often create many different opportunities to provide a false sense of fulfillment. But there is no telling which opportunity they might choose. When they are in this mode of behavior, they can be very unpredictable. They can also be very reckless. They don't consider the risks. They don't consider the potential consequences of their actions. Because when they're in panic mode, all they're really focused on is their emotions and they are trying to manage their emotions through their actions, which is a very dangerous thing to do. Nothing good comes from acting on weak, immature emotions, but this is exactly what the narcissist will do. And it often causes even more problems when they are in this state. Because when our emotions are high, our intelligence is low. When we act on our emotions, we're not thinking clearly. We're not using logic or reasoning, which then results in poor judgment. When the narcissist makes a poor decision, they will not hold themselves accountable. Instead, they will shift the blame onto you. They will panic even more until they finally provoke you to react. 
and then the whole thing just gets really messy. It just gets really confusing. You're stuck in fight or flight mode and you don't even know how or why you got there. Panicking over something that you never thought would bother you. Because you're around someone who acts in such an exaggerated way. They want to get an emotional reaction out of you. They want you to express their emotions for them. Because that is what relieves their pain and suffering. It's just like a young child. They cannot regulate their emotions on their own. But it's a lot easier for the child to understand when they see you react into the situation. It relieves the child's pain and suffering. Just as it does with a narcissist. Narcissists are very insecure. They are very uncertain. They are very anxious about themselves. And that is why they are prone to experience in panic mode. They also have poor focus and concentration. They get distracted very easily. Which is another thing that causes them to enter panic mode. Instead of focusing on a potential solution, they're more focused on the problem. They feed into it, which then causes them to panic. They feed into it because they're insecure. They're not confident about themselves. If they felt confident enough to be able to deal with a situation, they would not panic. They're experiencing fear and anxiety. They feel as though they are unable to cope with the situation. And that is why they cannot respond like a normal, emotionally healthy person. It all comes down to their lack of confidence in themselves. They are very insecure That is why whenever they run into a problem or issue, they feel like the world is collapsing around them. They have no faith in themselves. They have no self-sufficiency or self-reliance. And that is why they are heavily dependent on you for their sense of security and stability. They always panic to you and they expect you to take on those emotions because like a child they cannot deal with them on their own. 
so they enter panic mode. It's really nothing more than an emotionally underdeveloped person crying for attention. Because when they're in this mode, that's all they really need. That is the purpose of them entering this mode of behavior. It's because they need attention. They need you to attend to them. And as soon as you do that, they begin to calm down. But it also tells them what they need to do to get their way with you. Over time, this behavior will have an effect on you. It will drain you mentally and emotionally. It may damage certain parts of the brain, such as the hippocampus and the amygdala. This then affects your motivation, emotional regulation, learning, memory and focus. You enter a constant state of fight or flight, which can then cause you to develop panic disorder. When you are around someone who is constantly in panic mode, you end up becoming responsible for their emotions. They expect you to attend to their emotions. Over time, they become more and more relaxed, while you get more and more stressed out. It's almost like a personality swap. And that is why these people are so dangerous to be around. You lose your happiness and joy. You lose the sense of liveliness and excitement that you once possessed. And all you're left with is an empty shell of who you used to be. Thank you for watching. I hope this video will resonate with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcsrevercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.